YouTube, welcome uh, PCG fans, Veil of the Ages fans, RH World Building fans, and Essence of War fans, and Ninth Age fans, and just fans uh, in general. Um, thank you very much for joining us. We're joined by the lovely Pateglio, who ran uh, this tournament that we're going to talk about. Hello, everybody. Uh, and RH World Building, um, one of the other competitors in this tournament, uh, and... Uh, does a fantastic um, TTS, well, not TTS, paper um, uh, models. Hello, how's it going? Glad to be here. Yeah. Honored um, to be on the PTG channel. Uh, Honored to have you and, and to talk about this lovely, which I should probably introduce, the Essence of War Meta Triangular League. Um, so uh, instead of me waffling on, which I do, um, I will uh, pass over to Pateglio to say, what is this thing? Yeah. What does that very long name mean? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that, that, was, that was the purpose, like trying to create something that has a strangely and difficultly pronounceable name. And that was, that was essentially it. Once, once we came up with the name, then all the rest came up into place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, this is a, a triangular league of triangular leagues. So a triangular league is a league where you have three people and each is playing against the other two. Then you get a, a winner. And if you do this three times, then you can play the, the meta triangular league, the, the final triangular league between the three winners of the three individual leagues. It sounds, it sounds complex, but in reality, it's not. It's I, I like... think we have a, a diagram that might explain it. Oh, not that All one. Right. That's... <laughs> not that. Well... Don't worry. Uh, here we go. <laughs> The uh, yeah. picture that explains sort of what we were talking about um, in this. Uh, so obviously it's Essence of War, mm -hmm. um, which is the starter game to Ninth Age. Uh, uh, we've 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 done it. Had quite a few videos on here. You obviously do have a Twitch uh, and a YouTube uh, channel which does um, Essence of War based things, but also uh, things in TTS and um, sort of based around that uh, and Veil of the Ages, of course. Um, and uh, we've. Sort of set up. There was nine players uh, in this triangular, triangular, meta triangular league, um, and uh, yeah. So we all picked our uh, armies and um, decided to put patrol versus patrol uh, against each other. Yeah. Yeah. The using the patrols from Essence of War was a, a way of keeping the game simple enough that we would be sure that more or less games would last only one hour, for example. Mm. And, and then this means that we had not nine uh, games plus the three in the finals, and uh, you know all, all of it can be squeezed down in terms of battle reports to uh, to a very short time. You can have the, the full experience of the entire tournament in, in one evening. You know, so it's uh, yeah. yeah, quick one. Yeah, well, there we go. and uh, so we've been playing around with the patrols anyway, um, but uh, like matches and things. But you, one of the big things was to get it down to an hour. Uh, and sort of play the games and show how relatively easy that was as well. Um, and to the point where there was even a in within this tournament, you go over an hour, you get penalty points, right? Yeah, harshly enforced. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I I sense some sort of judgment on uh, on how evil <laughs> I have been as a, as a referee during this tournament. Uh, it's over. Now you can't give me another. <laughs> scoring thing that we had which was uh plus and minus sportsmanship points <laughs> which oh, didn't actually, ever was... come into play just so <laughs> yeah. everybody knows that, that, that was an excellent thing I, I liked it very much because nobody misbehaved and everybody behaved so well that i wouldn't have had the chance to you know give plus points to anybody that was that was very heartwarming you loved the implicit threat yeah that was involved in it, that yeah at any You're moment he could do a, a penalty point for that, um, but yeah. So uh, within the tournament itself as well, I'd just say my, uh, myself, Hot RPG, uh, you, Rob, uh, Rob, were in it, um, and a whole host of other people, um, predominantly that had a connection to the Essence of War and had done it before and, and played on it and everything. Um, and we were split into groups, weren't we? Yeah. So there were three uh, three groups based on uh, based on country. Which essentially was based on time zone, more, yeah. more or less. Um, but to, to make things a bit easier, even if I think that Kelvin Moore is from the West Coast and that music Ryan is from the East Coast, so uh, things get a bit more difficult when you get into uh, the, the the federal uh, the federal accounts then. But um, yeah, we had these three uh, different uh, 
time zones, more or less country-based uh, groups. And each of those would have to express one winner. And then in the end, you would have the finals across this uh, across the, uh, the, the the country borders, let's say. So there was a, it was a, a there was an English division, a German division, and uh, a United States of America division. And in the beginning, they were playing. Everybody was playing against each other from from the same country. And then in the end, they would start cheering for the, the people that they just been slandering up to the, up to the, the, the match before. But then in the end, you know, everybody rallying around the flag, I suppose. That's yeah. The yeah, and uh, I think we've also got some pictures of sort of like some of the screenshots obviously using as i said tts um mm -hmm. which uh cool. is a really good format and has been one of the main formats to test out the essence of war stuff uh i, I guess i mean we're in three countries here right um <laughs> and it's i think it's it's a pretty early hour for you rob right it is yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like 6 30 a.m yeah. but it's all good <laughs> um so i mean just on that front obviously we wouldn't be able to play these in um, even uh, even within the groups uh, or anything in person. So TTS has been a really, really useful way of doing it and a, a pretty good way of doing it. If you've sort of seen some of these pictures, it looks very nice and very nice. And uh, and, and you um, uh, particularly have this as a program to download from Steam and everything. Yeah, definitely. So that's you can you can find all of these uh, these models that you see in, in in these images here. You can find them on Tabletop Simulator in the workshop. So you just go on Steam and uh, you look for Tabletop Simulator, and then you can you can download uh, these these free mods. And there's a there's a table that you can use to play games, and then there's individual armies that you can load additively to the uh, to the table. You have both 3D models armies, like you see uh, in, in these pictures here. But you also have the um, um, the uh, digital version of the designs that um, RH will building does for uh, many of the patrols, like this like one. This. Yeah. See? OBS. <laughs> yeah. This is the one for the Soren Ancients that uh, RH will building was using in uh, in his own tournament. And there's there's plenty of scripts. So it's Kelvin Moore, one of the uh, people who are joining the. Uh, uh, the uh, tournament. He's done some beautiful scripts where you're gonna have like you know line of sight and movement controls for the uh, for the different units. So it's really practical. And I think that uh, Tabletop Simulator is on uh, is on sale right now. So it's possibly uh, only gonna cost maybe I don't know ten dollars for a lifetime license. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's ten US dollars. Ten US dollars, and, and I think yeah. it's even cheaper. If you buy a four pack, so if you have friends, like, you know, it's like $25 and you, and you have four lifetime licenses and you can play tournaments like this one here. Right? So good gift. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it, it's not, I say it's not just this as well. There's lots of other board game esque things you can do on TTS as a, as a general yeah. um, and things like that as well. So uh, you, you can play Ninth Age and uh, 40K and Lord of the Rings and things like that as well. Um, more BD. direct to Ninth Age, but. Yeah, um, and uh, but there are if it's just board games uh, and, and lots of other things uh, through TTS, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, getting back to the the moment, um, let me just good um, look. We had our had our groups, and um, I think f for the most part, you did them in groups, didn't you? To see uh, in terms of uh, the fixtures, fixture list, should we say? Um, so I know that uh, Team England, us, we went we went first in in the tournament. Um, we uh, played uh, some of the games. Oh, here are the. I'll just go back one. Sorry, um, the uh, patrols. And just as, uh, to give an example of each one, uh, these are the patrols. We won't go too much into detail because otherwise we'll be here for about three hours. Um, but if people want to pause and take a screenshot of the patrols while we're doing it you can um so in the first one uh, we had beast hairs who was hyper g uh took that one on um then we had um oh i don't know why it's done doing that uh dwarven hold who was remy uh agonis uh, as well he does a channel does sort of quite a few bat reps as well within it uh which is cool uh and then i had myself uh, taking the ponzi elves because you know op and all that jazz um uh, and I'm a, I'm a Ponzi elf at heart, right? Um, right. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so those were the armies. Um, they've gone through like quite a lot of like, uh, all the armies actually, and this has gone through a bit of like playtesting and stuff, and it was just nice to see them all in a, a tournament and we all represented someone different. Um, going back to the actual uh, group itself and results, um, 
uh, Remy and PTG went for uh, PTG uh, Hyper G went first um, with Remy coming out just the winner uh, in that one, um, which was interesting. Uh, then High Elves showed their class. Right. Uh, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, in the dwarves They're matchup, uh, <laughs> which was mental. Um, and then to finish off, um, we had a PTG off and uh, elves won as well, which meant um, I was lucky enough to to go through and uh, into the final round, um, sort of thing. Um, moving on, next uh, you had the German. Uh, yep. Group. The German division. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, so in, in, in this division, we had, uh, again, of course, three uh, three factions. The first was the uh, Empire of Sonstal. Now Terus joined us at the, uh, at the last sec to, uh, uh, to take an army that he wasn't particularly keen on playing with. But, you know, it's, it, it's a nice, it, it's a fun one. There's shooting, there's, there's alchemy, it's a good one. Then uh, the second army was uh, the Inferno Dwarves with um, uh, Theocrit. Uh, leading them, and this is a uh, this this is quite a strong army as well. So it's performed very well until now. Uh, so both have alchemy, and then the third one was the Vampire Covenant, which has practically yeah. no armor. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was a fun one to have in in that group, and this was played by uh, Lich King, who's also helped us in the in the Essence of War team mm. in uh, in the past. And so we managed to play the the three games for this one um, for this uh, one group here in uh, in Germany. And uh, the first game was between Lich King and, and Theokarit, and it was a 3-1 for the Inferno Dwarves. And as you can see, them they're in red because uh, they went beyond one hour. I think that the game was uh, one hour and three minutes, something like that. And mm. so I was like, oh, uh, penalty, minus yeah. one point into the final tally. Then the second game... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It was chugging a lot. <laughs> The second game was again a slow play game, so I think that Teofrit like you know, got two out of two on on, on, on the long end, yeah, right. and it was a, a, again a two v two. So it was a tie between the uh, the dwarves and the uh, and the empire, and then the last game. So at this point, there wasn't really a way for um, uh, for Lich King to get ahead in the tournament unless he got all three points plus the sportsmanship uh, role. So he did. Okay. Uh, get the three points versus zero for Nautilus, and so he got it in the end in a tie with uh, with Theogrit because you add the points that you are, are, are making at the end of the game. By the way, these points are the units that are in the scoring zone yes. at the end of the fourth turn. That's how we're calculating as part of the war. Essence of War main rule set. Yeah. And so the, the way we calculate the tournament points is that you add the scoring units that you have by the end of, of the game and you subtract the ones that the opponent has. So it's not only winning or losing, it's also winning by one, by, by how much and how much you take away. So if you if you look at all the numbers, then essentially at the end of this turn, then Theocrit would have been in the lead, uh, but ex equo with Lich King. The only difference is that Theocrit had won the direct match against uh, Lich King. So normally he would have been the one to go through. And that's what the next uh, image shows. But the uh, the issue is that since there were problems with the scheduling, especially for the second phase, which was the international one, then as you see in the next slide, then Lich King um, got uh, invited by Theocrit to represent group uh, Germany mm. and uh, yeah so this was for the uh, this was for the second group so we had yeah. lucky success with the Highburn and then Lich King with the uh, Vampire Covenant which is the, the second main army of lucky success possibly yeah, yeah. I'll take that um, so yeah uh, then in the final group uh, Rob yeah your group um, so Excuse me. All right. So in the U.S. group, we had first we had Kelvin Moore, uh, who was on the Kingdom of Aquitaine, which is a pretty obviously cavalry heavy. Mm. Got two units of knights, yeah. some bowmen, and a caster, a damsel. Um, and then we had that music writer, uh, East Coast guy, on Macar. Also cavalry heavy. Cavalry heavy, yeah. Um, very fast. Yeah. And then I was on the Saurian Ancients, um, one of my go-tos. So somehow I ended up playing 
the slow lizards, relatively slow <laughs> lizards against two, the two cavalry patrols right. in the game. When I saw that, uh, you know, the picks from the other guys, so I was like, how did, how did this happen? But <laughs> as well with like essentially pyromancy, we'll make it work. as well as your like your magic, and um, so no no armor piercing there either. Yeah, <laughs> great, <laughs> fantastic. Fishing for ones. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So game one, um, it was that music writer with his Makar versus me. Um, I must have gotten, all, or he must have rolled a lot of ones or twos. <laughs> I think Makar's like armor, armor four. But yeah. um, yes, that one ended as a three zero to me. And then it played Kelvin Moore. Um, that one I recall was pretty close, but ended up as a 2 1 to me. And then the boys, although it had already been decided at that point, yeah. unless, although I threatened to uh, get in the chat and just be kind of a jerk to try and get minus one <laughs> sportsman point. That's it. Make it interesting, but. Uh, I was in the chat and I was like, well, I don't actually know how to do that. So, uh, <laughs> but there, oh, they, you're probably going to lose, but only by bad luck. Yeah. You're, you're jerks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but that, that last matchup ended up being a 3 0 to uh, Kelvin Moore with the oh. KOE. I will say that uh, this was that music writer's first time ever playing Makar in mm -hmm. these two games. Um, I think it's a good patrol. I think he was excited to play it. It just yeah. uh, kind of didn't work out. Sure, so. yeah. yeah. Which, yeah, of course... In... Oh, sorry, gone. Yeah, that, that in Kelvin Moore's game, everything went exactly how it was supposed to go. Like, you know, with dice rolls and with charges and with, with redirects and everything. Yeah. I think that the, the Kelvin Moore, the, the Equitain game was like textbook if everything went the way you wanted it to go and you're playing a cavalry army, how would the game look like? Like that one. Yeah. I, I guess that one on paper is who charges wins, right? As well. <laughs> right. So I, I, I guess Kelvin got the upper hand there. And which meant, of course, uh, you came out as victorious. Uh, I did indeed, yeah. Um, taking us to uh, the... Well done. Uh, the final three. So, so, and then progressing from the group stage to the international stage. <clears throat> we should say as well, particularly you um, Twitch live streamed all of these battles um, uh, yep. on on your Twitch channel by the ages there, um, and then some of them are on Agonas, some of them are on your channel. Well, you you've got the bat reps, uh, the yeah, two minute bat exactly. reps, which are cool. And if you want a bit I... more of a look at specifically our games, but also some of the others, uh, they're on different yeah. channels as well. Yeah, some some of the live games you, you can see you can watch them on the on the PDG channel. Then there's long, extensive battle reports with plenty of like you know the tactical and strategy commentary from uh, from Remy. And then there's this 10 minute battle reps for each of the battles that you can find on my YouTube channel on on Battle of the Ages too. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if you're watching, guys, go check out Battle of the Ages YouTube channel for the battle reps, um, the Twitch channel for future Essence of War, and they do have clips there as well of of some of the previous ones and videos and stuff. Um, I don't know how long they stay up generally in twitch land um yeah. but uh, uh, uh there are there as well and um of course i'll link in some of the old pitch um videos and uh live streams we've done here as well um but yeah that took us to the international one um and first up was you rob yes it was so i was playing uh tom the other tom the other tom. Lich king <laughs> with his vampires um going into this one i i I think I was just a little too confident going against the vampires with Pyro. Mm -hmm. um, I was expecting to just kind of burn them all off in it. And we'll see how that went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, it didn't go that well. We tied 1-1, one, one, but uh, it was a close game. Um, Tom's a great guy. He's mm -hmm. really good to play against. Yeah, yeah. And uh, vampires performed very well, I would say, in this tournament. So, yeah, no, yes, agreed. We tied one one. Yeah, yeah and uh, which it sort of left um, room for uh, myself to get in there a bit with the 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 OP high elves um, playing against Lichini as well, uh, Tom. Um, we, yeah, we had a a strange game, which was 
probably the most standoffish game I've ever played in any <laughs> sort of thing. But it was like, I don't want to charge you. And he's like, well, I don't want to charge you. <laughs> we did that. So we sort of did and that we a bit. we finish this game if nobody charges. Yeah, right? It, 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 it's mad. Um, so we ended up sort of going a bit back and forth and a bit of like uh, moving around. There was a lot of movement shenanigans and stuff actually in this one, which was quite interesting. Um, and with literally the last magic... And I think the last roll of the dice, um, I managed to yeah. get his um, Spectral Hunters, uh, mm -hmm. I think they're called. Um, so, yeah, that was really interesting. It was re uh, it was just a case of just who can get the, the last one. He was going for my archers, I was going for his um, Spectral Hunters. And, yeah, uh, I, I managed to luck it. But that, that's obvious, <laughs> right? Um, As you would expect. Which you, yeah, exactly. Which sort of set us up for the last the last game really in the, in a, the whole tournament come down to the last game whoever won won really um and uh, before I do the results uh, yeah how how did you think it went how how were you feeling beforehand well i i did look at this matchup a little bit and you know kind of look at which matchups i wanted in the game and yeah. there weren't a lot of great ones for me um it seemed like but um you know i kind of had a plan to just try and magic off your archers early yeah and i knew that if i could do that i had you know obviously a slight numerical advantage there and you know it would just kind of just come down to the dice rolls and what actually happened yeah no. see if my plan would come to fruition yeah, very much. And I was thinking, uh, normally I sort of think in Essence of War that it's much, much better to go second. But in this case, with all your pyro Nancy spells, I was like, well, I'll, I might get might get done over turn one if <laughs> I go second. So I didn't really know which way um, in that one it was to go. And again, I thought I could probably, uh, if I got your Ky your, your Kyman unit down, I could probably take them because of the four up Aegis. It's just insane um, at, at, in this game uh, on the flame wardens but also potentially with the the lancers although i've got, i've got a, my own things against lancers i swear um in any right. form in any game um but yeah so again it was just a case of uh, if you go first i might be able to get some better matchups potentially um but yeah uh check it out um but thankfully for me uh i edged it again it did come down to the very last sort of game uh, very last turn, which was cool. Um, you pit, you absolutely demolished my archers, um, and your coattle uh, uh, was a bit of a, a annoyance for me. <laughs> it's chilly. It's what he does. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, this is the first time that you didn't score three points, uh, all three points Possibly. in the matchup. So yeah. it's a moral victory for for Rob. Can't yeah. oh. stop him well, at the go. last. <laughs> I slow down the Colossus that is yeah. Lucky yeah. Sixes. That's it. Not stop. Yeah. Yeah, just you a mind. We hope to contain him. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, but yeah, and it, the uh, winners ended up being the Highborns. Hooray me. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, we did, we did uh, after this, and actually most of the um, uh, games, I guess, we were talking about the high of. Uh, Hope on patrol, and probably that there would be a few okay. changes in it. Um, we start off with 15 flame wardens, which we sort of said there was. I mean, it's probably too much in this because of the four pages. There's 30 wounds in a unit, is, uh, essentially uh, quite high. But um, but yeah, yeah. Um, the three spells, which I, I guess for me it's not uncommon to see, like in this sort of tournament, having two armies with three spells get them there as well. I think having three spells really helps you out. Um, uh, in terms yeah. of not being able to have some obvious dispels from your opponent, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, um, yeah, they're quite quite versatile, and you know, it's I think that the armies are not that far away in terms of power power level. No, um, not at all. It, it, there's always something to improve, and I think that you know this was a very good stress test because if you give the slightly OP army to the most uh, tactical, most handsome, and most disgustingly lucky player of the tournament. Thanks for reading then... that out for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, when did you send that over? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was just punching it in my teeth. But you know, when when all things combine, like you know, it, it's it's a dice game. So 
lucky six is play stats right. it's it's generating a big challenge for everybody but yeah i think that we can tone it down and bring it in line with the other ones it's it, it's always good to have like you know this sort of stress test it was 12 games so we've seen a lot of things happen yeah yeah uh and rules that can be ironed uh out and, you know things can be improved you know? yeah and uh, like like we've sort of said here, everyone was just in it to have a bit of fun and sort of look at all the armies and just have some games against each other, which was really cool. Different people having different games. Um, yeah. And I think as well as that, we sort of did it as a pre-marker to, well, essentially to showcase the essence of war and how fun it can be and the, the fact that it's done in, a, done in an hour, which is um, uncommon for a, a, a war gaming game. Right as well, so, especially the. I mean, look at Ninth Age um, as a whole. So you're looking at three hours for a game, four if you're casual and talk a lot, which I do. Um, so in, in, in able to do, do it, literally uh, in our case, log on, play the game, log off in an hour and a half, um, and we weren't being particularly quick. Uh, was was pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. I've always found that quick aspect of essence of war is maybe its biggest strength um because you know even if you do have you know three hours you could potentially you know if you're really fast and everybody kind of knows what they're doing you could potentially play like one of these triangular rounds mm -hmm. in less time than it takes to play a full game of ninth age oh. yeah so no. yeah yeah no, it's just a different kind of approach to things you know you just want to get in as much gaming as you can on a day then maybe you go this route yeah yeah absolutely and i so say there's uh eight patrols out currently is it eight or there's the, a bit more the patrols the, yeah. it's 20 it's all 20 it's all 20, it's all 20. yeah yeah all sorry. 20 but the, the army lists are, are getting the the advanced customizable sure. ones yeah, yeah. are getting out a bit a bit yeah so slowly. yeah so i mean all the all the armies are up for that um yeah. we used eight uh, sorry nine in this but there's absolute potential to do this again uh -huh. but maybe uh showcase the other ones but and as you can see not only did we sort of have fun against each other we had some beautiful models on the table um, and beautiful designs from all sorts of uh, all, all sorts of designs as well. Very some uh, sort of very very realistic and gritty um, mm. to some more cartoony ones and things like that as well, which is cool. Um, so mm. uh, yeah, and am I right in thinking that when you download this patch, there's a couple of different models for your choice for some of the units as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Some of the units, um, for example, the ones that you have from uh, from Rob's designs, but also some of the the three D. You can uh, choose which um, wild tone to use to represent the unit. So you can you can create different different looking units as well. So that's uh, it's it's customizable. Mm. It will be customizable with the armies where we uh, you know go beyond the patrols with the uh, with the pre made armies where you don't have a say in which units you can field. And I think that idem. Thank you, Idem, for uploading this stuff to the uh, to the uh, tabletop simulator workshop. Has put, uh, I think, two or three or four uh, army lists that you can already now use. I think that there's Osklanders, there's the Empire, there's the Beasters, and uh, and possibly something else uh, coming very soon that you can use to create your own um, your own um, rosters to write them up. But it was, I, I think, it was nice that even with this um, pre-made armies you can just fire them up and when you play you have very different games so as, as lucky sixes was saying in some games you have no charges essentially it's just yeah. positioning and shit. in other games there, there's all sorts of uh, I, th I think exactly that the, uh, the the vampire covenant has had one game with uh, um with lucky sixes where he made no charges and the other one with uh rh world building when uh, i think he had uh all units in combat it's like the entire patrol was yeah. in that one combat so it, it can be so different even with the, the always the same the same models in there so and yeah. it's worth a try i would say yeah no definitely and as you sort of pointed on there this uh, essence of war uh, essentially for beginners to getting it out to people that haven't necessarily 
Tried Ninth Age um, or wargaming to a certain extent as well. It's very very simplistic. A lot of the rules uh, for each army are on one page as well. Very easy to use sort of um, codex, I guess some would say, but rule book as well. Um, and the next stage of that is something that you're probably going to be looking into quite a lot in the advanced Essence of War, um, which I guess is if you're looking at levels is in between Essence of War and Ninth Age. So another stepping stone uh, to get to the main game. Uh. Definitely, definitely. I think that this is a, a good transition between Essence of War Basic, Essence of War Advanced, then you have Fantasy Battles War Bands, and then you have the Fantasy Battles, the 4,500 points. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Everybody knows and loves and loads. Yeah, so what, while Essence of War has um, sort of pre-made uh, patrols um, in the basic game, um, these it's not necessarily points-based, but maybe about 1,000 points? say mm -hmm. around yeah. that sort of level um yeah. you get to advance we're sort of talking 2000 or 1500 to 2000 mm -hmm. sort of points um and yeah. you do have points so it's um a lot more customizable in the army you want to take there's a few different options and things like that as well mm -hmm. um so very i'm um, personally as you can probably tell very excited to get stuck into that and have a look at that and um get into the a, a few of those and we will have those coming up on the channel uh when when that's all ready and stuff but uh yeah, yeah really nice to sort of showcase this as a as a game and and uh, have some fun doing it right for everybody who's watching this make sure you you prepare yourself to watch all the content that's going to happen on the on the ptg channel yes. subscribe to the bloody channel and yeah please do subscribe ring like, the bell that yeah. kind of stuff and i, I, I guess you, what are you even doing at this point if you if you play ninth age and you're not subscribed here like what yeah. what is it that you want <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what, what else? What else, man? <laughs> right. Yeah, we, 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 we'll, we'll keep trying. We'll keep searching. But um, in, in terms of that, um, do if you've played it before, um, if you played, if you have actually played it, Essence of War or use TTS uh, and all those things, feel free to put that in the comment. Or if you've got any uh, questions about that, put it in the comments. We're, we're all available on these uh, um, forum names uh, as you can see on the overlay uh, to uh, on the forum um, if you want to get to that but if you want to just put a question in the uh, thing about essence of war uh, basic advanced what war bands is all that stuff um, uh, TTS or anything like that put it in the comments and I'll, I'll make sure paper models future paper models yeah um, which we, should, channel, we should say saying, saying uh, the paper models that actually Rob you've got Patreon is that right I do yeah um so basically, although I'm actually kind of on vacation right now from this until it's Christmas, uh, yeah, <laughs> until the beginning of the new year. But basically, every every month I will put out two sets of uh, stand-up paper miniatures. You know, they're 2D, but they do stand up. Um, they have front and back art. Um, they're they will come on the proper sized bases for whatever unit it is. Mm -hmm. um, I've got characters, monsters, you know, rank and file units. Mm -hmm. I have a bunch of just pre-made, pre-set up um, Essence of War patrols. Some of those you can actually find on the Ninth Age website in the kind of beginner section mm -hmm. uh, and on the downloads page. And then I also have, um, if you're interested in getting into fantasy battles and you want to try something before you have to, you know, drop a bunch of money on plastic <laughs> yeah. models, if you want yeah. to try, uh, if you're interested in beast herds, I actually have finished every unit in the beast herds awesome. army book, and those Ooh. are all available on my Patreon. Great, that's amazing. That's great. I mean, with with the with the simplified rules, with the fast games, and with the miniatures that you can print at home from from a ritual building, and then like you know just just hand them to somebody and say, do you want do you want to play this game? Like you know you don't need an army. Here's your army. Like, you know start start with this yeah, one, man. and then if you like, then you build on the other one. It's it's a great service to the to the community. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So if you want to uh, check out a bit more, you've got a big information page there, and um, a few more information on all the different membership levels. Go to RH World Building at uh, Patreon. Um, and as we said before as well, if you want to look at um, some of the TTS, if you're liking the look of this. 
Um, not even necessarily for uh, Ninth Age or Essence of War or anything. Just like the look of uh, what you can do for it. Um, I think it's, you can use it for D&D and things like that as well. Um, go to Steam uh, and check out Tabletop Simulator um, and get it in. Uh, I think it's on offer now, um, uh, do we think, mm-hmm. yeah, do we say. Um, so, um, yeah, go, go to Steam, go to Tabletop Simulator, download it. And if you like the look of it and want to look at Ninth Age, then hit us up and we'll... We'll help you out with that, but it is uh, available avail- the ages um, as well as a uh, once mm-hmm. you're in Steam. Yeah, you can uh, you can actually just type uh, T nine A for the nine page okay. in the in the tabletop simulator workshop, and you will find loads of content there. Yeah, patrols, pre made playing tables, introductory games. That's it's all free. You know, it's once you buy a tabletop simulator, which is something that you know we don't have any control on no. and we don't have any repercussion from. Uh, once you get that, I think it's like ten dollars for a lifetime license, uh, even cheaper if you buy the uh, the, the full pack. Uh, then all of the ninth age content is up there and it's for free, so for, for you to enjoy. So give it a, give it a try. Yeah, no, absolutely, and um, then you get to play with us for the next tournament as well. They share on tabletop. Yes, years, right? absolutely. Yeah, I guess um, uh, that'll be the next thing. If you are interested in um, playing um, in one of the games mm-hmm. and um, or in one of the tournaments or, or just a game really, uh, mm-hmm. then it, again hit us up in the, the comments forum um, and we'll, we'll sign. I'll certainly sign post you and let you guys know um, what's going on. Definitely. If you feel brave enough, come and whip like a six is. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's know, not some some not body likely, parts of your choice. Yeah, not not likely, Go but on. it's a yeah, you know, it's a challenge. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, essence of war proves that anyone can win a tournament. Anyone. Tom did it. I did it last time. Yeah, the last one we had. So I mean, if you want to win something. Come join us in Essence of War. Yeah, absolutely. We're all pushovers. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so uh, otherwise, guys, I think um, that's a pretty good sum up of, the, of, of what we had. The Meta Triangle League, uh, really, really fun. Really, uh, Thanks particularly for setting it up and, and doing everything on that um, and being available for literally every single battle, which was cool. Um, Thank do, you guys for playing. Yeah, man, absolutely. Um, do hit his Twitch channel up, Valley of the Ages, to... Um, see more things like that in the future um, a lot of live streams uh, get involved in the chat and everything like that and um, yeah like share subscribe check out Rob's stuff um, have fun stay safe and Merry Christmas right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. but yeah no thanks very much uh, thanks very much you guys for coming on the thing and chatting uh, about this and um, I'll put some links there'll be some links going on in the video I'm sure somewhere about uh, where to see some of the live streams and I'll put some links in the description as well for people that uh, want to look at that but otherwise guys thanks very much for joining us thank you man thank you so much Tom for having us appreciate it oh no, anytime anytime and uh, thank you viewers for viewing um, much appreciated and uh, yeah see you next time bye everybody bye see you later